made it to Toronto Pearson International Airport bright and early to board our flight to New York City, but there was a safety issue with the airplane, a leak of some kind. We then had to deboard the aircraft. The airline could not get us to New York in time to catch our connecting flight to Geneva. Then began the stress and panic, as Cody's mom was expecting to meet us in Cairo. Once in New York, we ended up having to pay for another flight from New York to Zurich to Geneva and then finally on to Cairo. 18 hours later, a lot of running and cursing, but we finally made it. second and they're just as spectacular as the first time they're amazing and it's just uh, after everything we just went through with the planes and everything it's just it's so great to be in Egypt I'm promise I like it all tourists it's a beautiful country and not any problem not, don't look for problem I look for the happy is you happy I make me happy is all Egyptian men and Egyptian women I like it all tourists when they come in here for you happy it's not luck for problem, not luck for nothing. I luck for only happy. Hello. So we arrived in Aswan at about 9 a.m. this morning. Checked into our hotel, grabbed some really good Bedouin food, and we are now on a traditional Egyptian sailboat called the Falouka. It's 3.30 in the morning, um, we just woke up and we are now on our way to Abu Simbel. Abu Simbel is located in Nubia, Egypt, a three-hour drive from Aswan. The Twin Temples are a UNESCO World Heritage Site that were originally carved out of the mountainside. One temple is dedicated to Ramses II, while the other is dedicated to his queen, Nefertari. The relocation of the temples began in 1964 by a group of multinational architects, engineers, and skilled heavy equipment operators and cost over $40 million at the time. The reason for the relocation was to avoid Abu Simbel being submerged due to the creation of Lake Nasser. Abu Simbel remains one of Egypt's top tourist attractions. It is quite a sight that photographs and video just do not capture. Baby and days. Baby and nights. 